What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. As you probably know, trading is not all about bells and whistles and raking in those profits, taking targets after targets and having an equity, equity curve going straight up. Sometimes you have to suffer a loss. And today was the day that we had to go through those losses. So stay tuned to check out which losses we took and on which trades. Yo, good morning everybody and welcome back to Daily Forex Market Analysis. Today is Monday the 8th of April. As you can probably hear, I got my microphone fixed. And I don't want to tell you what, what was up because I, it was a dummy mistake. I turned around the battery on the wrong side, so obviously it was not working. Yeah, so now you know. Anyway, so and now when everything is working like it should work. Let's go to the, let's dive into the market and let's check out what is markets prepare for us for this upcoming week. Uh, here we are on the USD CAD hour one time frame, and what I can, what I can see in front of me is basically not much, not much. I do see, do see a potential here, X to A, and then something, whatever is going to happen here. But besides this, I don't see anything else. And so I'm just gonna move from this pair because there's nothing. Maybe a deep Gartley, but uh, let's let's. Would this be a Gartley at all? Like something like this? Would this be a Gartley? Let's see. No, no, no. This is not. This is not even in my. Nope. Okay. So USD CAD. There is nothing here. Aussie USD. What do we have here? Um, Maybe we had a, somebody might have a surfer, but we are not trading surfers in this pair. Uh, I think this this is gonna be something. Depends what this market is gonna do here. Uh, this will not be anything because this is not uh, at 50 level. But we can we can actually check it out and see for ourselves. Uh, this tool that I'm, nah, it violated the 8 point, I did not see. This tool that I'm using is basically a custom bot that my developers got developed for me. I'm still testing it and it's gonna work perfectly on version 3.5 C Trader and then we're gonna move it to the MT4 as well. So far, I'm not gonna share any more details about it, but when, when the time comes, you will definitely know more about it and it will be available for you as well. So Euro dollar, this is the markup that I've done uh, last week. I was waiting for this Garkley to uh, to finish at the decompletion point right there. However, it did not, which I'm glad because it uh, looks like it, we might have an opportunity uh, this week here. So this is a markup since Friday. I left it on a chart and I'll be waiting for the price action to get this to this price point and then I will get engaged. There's a risk to reward the aim bad eater. Uh, I, I'll be waiting for one to one risk to reward for this pet. Uh, let's see. Ah, sorry. Risk to reward here on this trade will be what? 25 pips of uh, win, potential win, and 20 pips of uh, potential lose, uh, of, of a loss. Yeah, so it's good. It's more than a one to one. So I'm uh, definitely a good Gartley. As you probably know, sometimes with Gartleys, you don't have a one-to-one -one risk to reward. So you always want to check that out before you get engaged in a trade. Uh, then let's move further. Pound dollar, nothing here on a pound dollar for me. The, the, yeah, there is just nothing here. I'm just waiting for some something to see something. Maybe if we get X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D, I will get engaged. But so far, I don't see anything else. Pound yen, there is a big cipher pattern here, X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D. And starting this week, I will start trading ciphers. So I will definitely definitely be looking at it. Uh, depends on at what time it will complete and if it will complete at all. I believe I have to double check my results because I'm not used to trading ciphers yet. It's my first week, but uh, I, I believe that I can trade them only afternoon or after some kind of I'm not I, I I'm pretty sure that I should not trade it in the morning. Now let's move to Aussie CAD and that that wraps our period up. Uh, that wraps our morning session up and I as you can see there's nothing here. Nothing here. Just a 
we were in a bear trend now we we didn't yeah we did violate the previous outside return we pulled back a little bit maybe making this kind of a complex pullback i believe that price action might find support here uh, if not I, I don't know i don't see anything that i would be interested in so with that being said guys this kind of sums it all up and wraps up our morning session i will definitely record the afternoon session as soon as i get home if we get any action if you're new here this is a daily forex market analysis i do this each and every day uh, when i wake up to, right now it's 2 30 in the morning gmt time zone it's a little bit later here when i live and um yeah that's it i upload a video if there is some kind of an action if there is no cut no action you will not get an upload on my youtube channel uh, so if you're new here and if you like if you want to watch and follow this kind of episodes and maybe you find it valuable Please consider subscribing also make sure to click the like button smash the bell button Leave your comment below if you agree or disagree with some of my analyses and let's chat about it Thank you very much for watching and see you soon in the afternoon session Bye. All right. Hi guys and welcome back. So as I said in the morning session, if we get some kind of an action, I will upload a video. So that's why you're watching this video. Otherwise, I you wouldn't even see it. We did have some action. Unfortunately, it was bad action for our trades. We took two losses today. This was one of them, which is the USD CAD bad pattern. It took us out for 30 pips or so. And then the other one is actually Euro dollar, the bad pattern. Yes, we were looking at the big garkly here but you know market decided to do the different thing and we took a loss on euro dollar bad pattern it's a smaller loss but still is it's a loss so if you if i go on a history uh here you can see that we took a loss of 15 euros uh like 25 and 30 what 5 35 pips it's actually so how much 25 35 60 pips down today on to trade so that's not good but it, it is what it is it happens overall we are still up so we just need to be you know consistent and follow our trading plan uh the other trade that i, I was looking at is the big cipher pattern here pound yen x to a a to b b to c c to d completion but the risk on it is just too big for me to trade it and besides this there is nothing else to trade so this kind of sums it all up it's a short afternoon session be just the you know over overview of what was happening today and basically that's it i don't have any other trades on my radar so i can wrap my day up a little bit sooner than my trading plan says so sure i'll be watching the price uh price chart but i don't think i'll get an opportunity to engage uh yeah so you you've been watching the daily forex market analysis i do this on a daily basis if there is some kind of an action like it was today if you like this video consider subscribing it does help grow the channel like the video smash the bell button share the video comment below if you disagree or agree with me on anything and let's you know let's start some kind of a conversation about forex about trading in general after all all of us are just trying to get better each and every day and with that being said thank you very much for watching and see you tomorrow of course if we have any action bye bye